Hello. Well, hi. Hi. Uh, is this uh, Jean Philippe? Yeah, that's me. Okay, can you see me? Yeah, I can. Okay, great. Nice, uh, nice having you. Thank you. I, uh, I, I, I thought I, I think there was a misunderstanding, maybe about the time or something like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, I thought it was uh, seven thirty in the evening. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Well, uh, yeah, it's still early then. You, you're, you're in Canada, aren't you? Yes. Okay, Italy. okay, okay. So uh, uh, nice having you. And uh, we'll, we, we don't have, uh, so we can take our half hour now because we, we don't have another meeting uh, lined up. So uh, okay. we can we have time to, to discuss a little bit uh, your film. And uh, yeah. we'll, uh, we're really happy to, uh, to have your film uh, in Rabat uh, Comedy. It is, uh, it is uh, quite an original uh, film that, uh, that uh, puts into situation the, the COVID uh, environment. And uh, yeah, and uh, there aren't uh, that many movies that were made uh, using COVID as, a, as an environment. So uh, I congratulate you for, uh, for the choice. But what made you, uh, what made you make, uh, what made you uh, think about this idea and work about it and uh, think about it and then make, script, you know, write a script about it? Uh, if, if, if I suppose you are the one who wrote the script. No. No, okay. I participated uh, in writing it, but uh, the main writer is not me. Uh, you were you one of the writers? Uh, no, I participated in uh, like giving ideas and uh, like, um, yeah, you, how do you, you say, a brain, brainstorm, brainstorm the ideas okay. with the writer, but I didn't write it. Yeah. Okay, and, and you directed it, I suppose. Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. Well, uh, it was, be, I think, a fruitful uh, collaboration. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, well, well, what what draw you to this to this story? What draw you to this uh, this? Well, I knew, uh, yeah, I knew I wanted to do a, a movie about the pandemic, um, but it was uh, during the I don't know if you know what's Kino. It's like um, an OBNL. How do you say OBNL? Um, like an organism in Quebec that uh, supports. Uh, New filmmakers. It's a free organism. What, uh, what, do, what do they do? They they help. They support uh, uh, filmmakers. Yeah, yeah, they support uh, new new incoming uh, filmmakers. You mean so they, if, they they give uh, they give some kind of help? Uh, they give uh, equipment. Uh, once every oh. year, they have a contest, okay. and you you kind of have to send. Um, an application and they pick, they choose 20 teams to do uh, short films during a certain period, period of time. And we were chosen. And, yeah. And, and uh, I was chosen. Yeah, sorry. What's the name of the, the, the organization just to... It's called Kino. K-I-N-O, Kino. K-I-N-O, K -I -N -O, like the lights, yeah, Kino. Kino, Montreal. Ah, Kino Montreal. Ah, okay. But there are kinos uh, everywhere in the world. There's one in France. Uh, oh, like, really? Uh -huh. yeah. It's, it's like, a, uh, an ONG type of, uh, you know, yeah, an organization yeah. that helps uh, filmmakers and they... Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's very interesting. Uh, and they, and they, they will, you, you don't have to rent. You, they would just... Uh, yeah. You would loan the money, the, the, the equipment, and uh, use it, and then return it. Yeah, but you have to pay for everything else, like uh, your locations, your food, uh, your transportation. Uh, and the, the, dark, the, the crew dark. and the cast, I suppose. Yeah. Well, yeah. the crew and the cast um, are all free because they have a selection that you have to use, uh, like for this partic particular keynote event. Um, all the actors, all the crew come and, and like inscribe themselves for that particular event because it's a big event. It happens uh, only once every year. 
and you as a, a film director you have to pick your crew and your uh, actors from from those uh, okay so they kind of uh, volunteer they kind of uh, yeah. volunteer to the yeah to to be in the film oh okay mm -hmm. well that's that's a nice and uh, uh, the film looks uh, nice anyway they, uh, so all these uh, the actors and the, the you know the, the main actor and all these volunteer to uh, to to be in your film well, there was a lot of actors that wanted to play, but we did the auditions. Um, okay. Same thing for the crew. Uh, I mean, I talked to people uh, and see what were this, their skills. So those they were chosen. They weren't like, uh, uh -huh. are you there? I, uh, I'm gonna take you. Yeah, they were, they were chosen. Uh -huh. So the so the story, the way it unfolds, it's uh, it's uh, it. it, it puts us in a situation where we see this uh, protagonist, uh, this hero, very happy uh, when uh, COVID happens, you know, because he's been, uh, for the last three years before that, he was, uh, he was uh, having these uh, problems, uh, psychological problems that uh, yeah. uh, followed by, uh, by a psychiatrist, I think, or uh, some kind of a specialized uh, doctor. And yeah. uh, and uh, it's funny situation where we uh, we are, we have somebody who's very happy of the. Uh, wh why did you why do you think this this theme can be interesting? Why do you think uh, why do wh what does it bring to us? Uh, you know, let's say normal more or less normal people. Uh, the, uh, well, I think it's mostly funny. Um... Like, yeah, when I met the writer, the story, well, when we applied to that uh, event, at that Kino event, we, we didn't have a story. I just applied myself uh, as a director. I didn't have like um, a particular idea of what I wanted to do. But then the writer came to me and said, uh, oh, I want to um, team up with a director. I don't have any idea, so just let's just uh, do a brainstorm and talk about it and see what we both want to do. But I knew I wanted to do something at the, about the pandemic. Uh, I didn't know if like everyone, every filmmaker was going to do something about it, but I just wanted to do something for myself. But then the writer uh, has more like a comedy um type of writing and taste and i'm more a kind of a dark guy i, I only dark I, I only want to do like dark drama stuff so we we just took both our our ideas and confronted each other and that that came like uh, like that there's a bit of darkness and there's a bit of comedy in the movie but about the pandemic i think uh, yeah i think it's more fun than that that guy finds uh, finds it like calming and reassuring when the pandemic arrives, like the opposite of the of what we we feel. Uh, I think it's funny, but yeah. Yeah. So 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 the the when when he sees that everybody has become a little bit like him, everybody worried about uh, then uh, then he he feels uh, happy because he said I'm yeah. not. Uh, abnormal i don't it's uh, everybody now is like me so that was uh, yeah. very interesting this feeling that he had and then obviously it didn't last too long because people were happy to go back to their old life but uh, <laughs> so it finished on that uh, on that uh, sad note more or less you know mm -hmm. yeah we both knew we wanted to finish on a sad note uh, me being a dark drama guy and being tired of seeing too many movies finishing well. And she was also agreeing to that. We really, <laughs> really wanted the, like uh, almost an horror, horror ending, a uh, bad ending. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what, what is your, your experience in terms of filmmaker uh, making? Are you- uh, Well, are you... in life, I'm a DP. Um, oh, you I'm, are a DP, okay. In life, yeah, I'm not a director. But it's been growing on me, like yeah, having more power okay. <laughs> as a director. Also, I have ideas. Um, I have short, four short uh, film ideas. Okay. Um, my ideas come from my dream. They don't come Did out. You, of them. Were you yeah. behind the camera in this in this, in no. this movie? No, no, I, I had the. DP. So you had somebody else do the DP work? 
Mm -hmm. Okay. We had, I had tendencies of uh, micromanaging and my DP because it uh, was clear in my mind how I wanted to, to shoot it. Um, so that might not be a, a, that much of a good uh, a good way to, of doing it because like you're not letting your DP express himself. Uh, yeah. Enough, yeah, you, I guess. yeah. You, you leave a space for the DP uh, so that he could also uh, yeah. bring something to the to yeah. the film. Yeah. Uh, so you, you uh, and and you uh, the, the other projects were all comedy or are you this is uh, basically uh, comedy uh, that about kino or about uh, about what? no about the, you said you made the other short films or or you have ideas or you have yeah they're, no they're all all since they come only for me they are all dark um, dark dramatic or psychological yeah. thrillers or. Yeah. When yeah. you say when you say dark, you mean a thriller, some kind of dark thriller, or, or uh, yeah. horror, not horror. Uh, no, I'm not into horror. It's it's just strange. Uh, like you see in the, in this film when there's a, like a huge bottle, or the family scene when they get uh, a rose. The uh, those those are my ideas. But yeah, in my shorts, uh, in my ideas, they they all it's all darker versions of of supernatural supernatural stuff like that, that happens. Yeah. So that that's my style. That that's yeah. coming in. Yeah. But uh, for this movie, you thought uh, uh, comedy would bring something interesting to the the comedy the part is is really uh, the writer that that brought brought, the, brought it into this film. Um, I was fighting her to to remove her their comedy, and she was fighting me to remove my dark stuff. It was a const, <laughs> constant fight uh, between us. Yeah, but well, um, uh, it's usually that's you know creation is uh, like yeah. a volcano. You know, you have to have the little uh, yeah. fight to uh, that's true. That's get true. some things uh, interesting. But uh, now that it came out pretty well. It came out as a, as you say as a comedy, but uh, with uh, with some. Uh, Dark edges because uh, because we we this this guy is uh, really in pain and he's really suffering from his uh, his uh, illness. So we you know we, we can feel that uh, how how bad he feels and uh, you know yeah. it's not uh, very happy and and we can uh, it, it helps us also realize how uh, COVID can be very interesting to some people. Well, COVID uh, you know that environment where you don't where you feel people are not getting to contact and uh, mm -hmm. and it is uh, well, the problem you showed uh, uh, yes there is a pathology where people uh, get uh, this kind of uh, uh, you know they need help and but but also most people today in this world are much more uh, uh, sensitive to uh, all what is uh, connected to hygiene, to viruses, and uh, so on, you know, they, so they, up to the point where, uh, you know, they're, they're pretty weak, uh, their health, because they, they don't want to, uh, you know, they're always uh, using products uh, on their skin, on their, you know, and, yeah. uh, and maybe uh, there's a downside uh, to this, uh, when, uh, when you're too much, uh, aware of that uh, of the you know and you know mm -hmm. when when human beings were able to live healthy without uh, caring much about uh, about these problems for a very very long time so yeah so, I you know, agree. yeah, yeah uh, and so in the society that goes in that direction obviously some people would go and exceed that and they would you know they would feel uh, uh, totally uh, 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 threatened by uh, by the environment uh, when when uh, nothing really uh, would happen if, uh, if, uh, if they if they didn't think there were something would happen to them you know uh, they were mm -hmm. threatened what, what what are your plans uh, in, the, in the future making uh, more short films or moving to feature yeah. film or yeah <laughs> um, yeah my my plan is to well um, since this short was made like with very low budget and all, uh, almost all, all of it was uh, like asking services around or, yeah, uh, my plan would be to to make a, one of my shorts, but um, have a budget for it, like a real proper budget, 
uh, find a producer right now i'm looking for a producer to help me do that and yeah um, i have also an idea for a feature film um, but i think that that's gonna come much later i want to do like two or three short short movies before Okay, before you move uh, further uh, to yeah. other projects. And yeah. as a DP, you work uh, in uh, what kind of uh, in fiction? Or in, uh... Right now I'm living off of it. So I'm doing like most mostly uh, corporate or music videos or short films. But with a friend we have um, in next October, we're trying to form ourselves uh, his first feature. Um, so that's the big project for October. Right? Oh, be, being a DP on a, on a feature uh, on yeah. a feature film. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, that that sounds exciting. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's really a huge project, and since we're like we're putting it together and funding it to, uh, together, it's uh, it's something. It's a lot to think about, and it's a lot to. Uh, yeah. Is it going to be shot in? Uh, in uh, Montreal or I mean in um, Canada? Yeah, he lives in uh, BC, Vancouver. Oh, okay. But uh, I think we know more people in Montreal, more people that can help us uh, like realize our vision. So I think I think it's going to be shot in Montreal. Okay, well, that's great. Well, uh, keep us posted. The, the festival is always interesting. I'm, I'm, I don't think it's going to be a comedy, is it? Uh, is film that we're shooting? Oh, in yeah, yeah the, this feature film you are talking about. Yeah, it's a dark comedy. Yeah, it, it's, it's a dark comedy. comedy. Okay, yeah, well, you uh, could. Um, I don't know if you saw the movie "The Art of Self Defense." The it's Art a, of Self Defense. No, I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll write it down uh, so yeah. that I can look, it, in, look it up. It's in that vibe, uh, that kind of vibe. Yeah. So the it's a, a bit. Uh, it's action and uh, comedy and uh, no just dark comedy oh just dark comedy okay okay that's that's nice I, I'll, I'll look it up and uh, yeah. and uh, uh, obviously uh, you're most welcome to submit it to the robot comedy so because we you also we, uh, take uh, feature films yes yes we do we have uh, this year we have uh, seven feature films seven uh, comedies Sure. and uh, 15 uh, short films so sure. uh, yeah we're uh, we're looking for comedy uh, cinema work uh, you know uh, sure. and, uh, and uh, we'd like it to be a really a, a meeting place for all people who are interested by uh, expressing uh, using comedy comedy and whatever other genre it's not a problem that you know sure. the, the comedy is, uh, is important to be there and so that we can highlight it, so that we can expose it, uh, you know, expose the work to others. So yeah, you're welcome to uh, submit. And uh, thank you, thank you for being with us oh, today. Thank you, I'm, you too. I'm gonna let you go. I'm sorry if uh, there was a misunderstanding, oh, okay. but uh, but okay. uh, basically we'll uh, we'll. Uh, yeah, I I wish you good luck for the competition, your film. I wish uh, I wish good luck to your film and. And thank hopefully you. we'll uh, we'll stay in touch. Uh, thank you so much for being with us today. Thank ba you. You too. Bye bye. See, bye. see you now, Jean Philippe. Oh, bye. See you. Bye bye.